Hi, hello, welcome once again on my research blog Discover Social Sciences. Uh, this time I had like an unusually long pause in my blogging and in my video blogging on my YouTube channel. And uh, it was a strange week. Uh, it was like organically strange because where I live uh, in southern Poland we had a series of strong storm fronts uh, passing like really strong rainstorms and this is that thing about me I think it is called met meteoropathy or something like like that uh, when there is a strong uh, sharp out atmospheric front passing uh, I have hard times to write I have even hard times to think coherently by moments anyway it seems to be over so I am blogging again and generally it has been a strange week because if you follow my blog you can uh, you, you can notice that my last update uh, dates from last Tuesday so there is like a one week break unusually long for me usually I place like two or three updates a week on my blog so I generally I feel as if I have just ridden like a wave a big wave of uncertainty as if many things had been uh, sort of running sideways and now I am pulling it all back together uh, this specific update is uh, once again a return to like a, one of the threads on my research blog if you follow my blog or if you have been following my blog for the last few months you know that uh, one of those threads I develop is my investment strategy in the stock market by the end of January I decided to use my blog and to use my my writing and blogging activity as a let's say strategy of personal development as regards my investment skills in the stock market uh, as I noticed in the past that when I write about doing science I become better at doing science I decided that if I start writing coherently and systematically about doing investment in the stock market I can become better at doing investment right so this update is about uh, my investment decisions over the last month and about the investment decisions I am about to take right now. Uh, now two generalities, one about this channel in general and another one about this specific thread in my blogging. So about that thread uh, which regards my investment. So. As for my blogging in general, for those of you who haven't been following or who haven't been following for long, uh, below my pretty face in this video window, you can find or you can see an inscription discoversocialsciences.com and in the description box below the video, uh, you can find a link, the same link, discoversocialsciences.com. If you click on that link, it takes you to the website of my blog, uh, which has the same name, Discover Social Sciences. And there on that blog, you can find an update, a written update, which has the same title as this video. This is how that YouTube channel is coupled with the website of my blog. Now, uh, this is uh, as for, let's say, for general things and now one specific remark uh, usually those written updates on my blog are much more abundant in information are much more developed uh, than my videos my videos those videos that i place on youtube are supposed to be like short editorials for each update that I place on my blog. This time it is a little bit different. As I said in the beginning of that, uh, of that video, I had like a, a hard week, a tough week as regards writing. Uh, I had like many ideas crossing my mind as it is about the stock market. There was a lot 
going on in the stock market, both in Poland and abroad. Uh, so this was one of those moments when my writing uh, had hard times to keep up with the events that I was experiencing. So this time you might find uh, this video version of my update or this video editorial of my update even maybe a little bit deeper or a little bit more informative uh, than uh, my written up update. It happens sometimes. Generally, my blog and my YouTube channel uh, serve me as that proverbial rubber duck. Uh, when I address an imaginary audience in front of me, I can sort of get my thoughts out into the world better. Uh, and this time I used that video update, that video editorial really as a lever to, to help putting order in my, in my thoughts, in my writing. So returning to the stock market, just to characterize uh, the situation I am in, uh, because this video or those updates on my blog which pertain to my to my investment strategy are supposed to be like shared experience in investment and they are supposed to be maybe some uh, an educational material for my students. So uh, there are a few unusual things that happened during the last month since I placed my last up up update pertinent to my investment strategy. That last update, by the way, it had uh, I think it had the title, the moment of reassessment of, or something like that. You, anyway, you can find it on my blog. Uh, so what happened, first of all, uh, was that I made significant cash movements on my account. Uh, I transferred uh, a lot of cash between my two investment accounts, the Polish one and the international one. And that was the first thing. The second thing was that I put a significantly uh, greater lump sum of cash into my investment accounts, greater than usually. Huh? Those who follow my blog, you probably remember that my general investment strategy uh, consists in collecting the rent from an apartment that I am renting uh, in, in town. And when I collect the rent, I invest this rent in the stock market. So it is like uh, taking proceeds from real estate assets and investing those proceeds into financial assets. This is what is and this is how I can characterize it in financial economic terms. This time during the last month, I did something un unusual. My employer, the university, paid me like an annual lump sum, an annual lump salary uh, for overtime. It was a uh, more than usual so on the whole i decided to put uh, an un unusually big amount of cash into my investment accounts and this is another lesson i have learned as an investor when i change the the pattern of investing cash in my investment accounts it is like a it is like a sudden shock which produces a shockwave and which makes ripples in time. And um, what I'm talking about is that I noticed uh, that when I invested that larger than usually amount of cash in my investment account, it changed my perception, it changed my optic uh, as for taking investment decisions. Suddenly, uh, from uh, a strategy of like riding the, 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 the next most promising speculative wave, I passed to a strategy of like diversification and hedging. I noticed when I study now the investment decisions and the investment positions I opened over the last month, I noticed that I started to think in terms of hedging, that I started to think in terms of that saying, don't put all your eggs in the same basket. And I noticed that I created like different baskets. There are IT companies in Poland. Uh, there are uh, automotive companies in Germany. 
there are logistics companies in Germany and in, in the United States. I more or less intuitively created that sort of diversified portfolio. And recently, essentially last week, and this was one of the reasons why I had so much hard times to write it coherently, I took sort of a risky decision. Um, I had some some loose cash because I had uh, I earned some like extra uh, extra return on a short term investment position in two energy companies in Poland, Toron and uh, PGE, and uh, I wondered what to do with that cash. And then when I studied the market indexes, the, uh, when I studied market quotes, I discovered that Polish biotech companies, which brought me a very nice return in April and May, that they are still growing. Uh, a month ago, I decided to sell out all my participations, all my investment positions in those Polish biotechs, because I thought that the that let's say the market wave that wave of rising prices was just a speculative bubble and that the speculative bubble had simply burst and that's it but now i noticed that that rise in prices in the in stock prices of polish biotech companies it continues so i made like a risky move uh, I decided uh, by the end of the last week to jump on a rising wave in prices. For those of you who are a little bit familiar with investment in the stock market, you know that it is a really risky move because when I buy into stock, which is like really growing in value in the market, that growth can break any moment. Uh, the best strategy is to jump on an ascending wave of prices when they start growing. So this is that uh, moment that is proverbially called the bull's horns, huh? that moment when the price stopped or stops descending and starts ascending. That's the moment to invest. Me, uh, or uh, right now, as for those Polish biotechs, I jumped on that uh, rising tide of prices much later. Huh? So it is a bit risky. I'm still wondering what, uh, uh, how it is going to play out. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that I have exhausted the thoughts that I want to convey in that video editorial. So once again, I invite you to visit my blog, the website of my blog. You go to the description box below the video. There you find the link, discoversocialsciences.com. You click on the link and then it takes you to the website of my blog, Discover Social Sciences. And there you can find an update, a written update, which has the same title as this video. So as usually, have fun with science and have fun with life, whatever happens. Bye.